Praise the Lord and good morning. I am here to render the Living Church's weekly happenings. Join us every Sunday morning for virtual Sunday school, beginning at 10 a.m. for toddlers, 12.30 for beginners, 1 o'clock for preteens, 1.30 for teens, and closing out at 2 o'clock p.m. for adults. Every Monday through Friday, beginning at 5 a.m., join us as we beseech the Lord through morning intercessory prayer via conference call. Every Tuesday and Friday via conference call, join us for noonday prayer. Bible study is held on Wednesdays at noon via conference call and Wednesday evenings beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. for corporate prayer via Zoom, followed by 7 p.m. Zoom Bible study. In closing, please be reminded that all Zoom meeting links, meeting IDs, and passwords are located on our church website at www.tlc oolgc.org. Again, that's www.tlcoolgc.org. This concludes this morning's announcements. We ask that you please govern yourselves accordingly. Shall I see my faith will stand?
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord, saints. This is Pastor Parson coming to you once again from the Living Church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. We're so grateful once again to be joining you for another Sunday morning. Truly, the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. I would like to take a few moments to just encourage each one of you to let you know that we are continuing to pray for you continuing to lift your names up in prayer our hearts goes out for those families who are continuing to lose loved ones and those who are bereaving we want to say that uh, we are with you and we are praying for you and we are asking the lord to let his love continue to shine upon you and as we prepare to go forward during this time we do know that the lord knows all things and we are encouraged just to think about the fact that the Lord is still in charge and he is sovereign. But I'm going to open with a word of prayer. I do believe there is a word from the Lord on today. And so we are here. But let me open with a word of prayer. All wise and eternal God, uh, my Savior, my Father, my Healer, our Redeemer. Lord, as we seek your face right now. That, Lord, we're asking you uh, to give us words of life, words of comfort, words of guidance, words of hope. Lord, we're asking you to continue to bless as only you can and make us a blessing. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This morning is we're coming. Going to this cosmic fire will be so fervent uh, that it will be hot enough to melt the elements, uh, the stars, all the planets, the comets, uh, Mars and Pluto and, and uh, Venus and Saturn and the ring around Saturn and the Big Dipper, the Small Dipper, the Great Milky White Way, the stars in the sky, they all are going to melt down. Uh, this means that the heat from this fire uh, will dwarf that of the heat from the sun. They all are going to melt down. This entire heavens, including the earth, will be on fire until everything dissolves. When the demolition is complete, there will be nothing left and no chance to get prepared because everything everything will be gone but the earth and the works there are in it will also be burned up that means that all of the beautiful skyscrapers and man-made monuments the parks will all be consumed by fire the trillion dollar satellites of all sorts orbiting the earth will all crash and burn the earth on all the works that are in it will all disappear everything that you see now will all be consumed Consumed by fire. And the good news is God has published his plan to prepare you not to scare you. Not only has God published his plan so that the earth dwellers can be prepared, but he continues to shake up things so that we can stay alert and always be prepared. Jesus talking to those whose attention he already had. He revealed to them what they could look out for uh, to help them keep looking up uh, waiting for the new heaven uh, and uh, the new earth uh, because the big one uh, my God will be a renovation to make way for the new heaven and the new earth this is an incident uh, that does not have to be an accident waiting to happen uh, where those who are not prepared uh, try to get ready and be prepared after it starts happening. So no, God lays out his plan that all will have time to get prepared. He is not willing that any should perish, but all comes to repentance. And Peter said, therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming day of the Lord? Lord. The writer of Hebrews helps it out and says, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which 
we may serve God acceptably and reference with God godly fear. Our God is a consuming fire. Either you get on fire right now of the Holy Ghost and burn up the sin in your soul, or you wait and you burn up later with everything else. But I chose myself to burn right now. And I know somebody listening to me, you didn't wait to burn. You're burning right now with the power of the Holy Ghost in in your soul. You are on fire so much that you are running and telling somebody that I'm on fire and you need to get on fire because the best way for fire to benefit you is for the fire to be in your soul. You know physical fire can warm you and bless you but physical fire can hurt you and kill you. So it is with God. God God is spirit and he's blessing you right now but God is also wrath and that's why he's long suffering because he is love and he's not willing that any should perish it's going to be like it was in the days of Noah only those in the ark of salvation through Jesus Christ will survive to populate the new heavens and the new earth and when Jesus sent them down and talk to them whose attention he already had in Matthew 24 Jesus let those who he had their attention he let them know about the shaking on earth that are designed to keep believers focused on the big one that's on the way Matthew 24 Christianity will be shaken by an increase in pretenders and imposters Representing Jesus Christ our Lord. For many will come in my name. Claiming I am the Messiah. And will deceive many. So Jesus said watch out. That no one deceives you. Lord have mercy. This sense of peace will be disturbed and moved by the constant threat of wars. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. But see to it that you are not alarmed, Jesus said. Not only that tremors will be felt among the nations. Nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. Not only that seismos activity will come to be felt in nature. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. But Jesus said all these things are the beginnings of birth pains. Saints, globally, the Christendom will shake by persecution. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of me. So people of faith, Expect the faith of individual believers uh, to be shaken uh, as we get close to the big one. Uh, at that time, many will turn uh, away from the faith and will betray uh, and hate each other. Jesus said, uh, and many false prophets uh, will appear and deceive many people. Uh, not only will faith be shaken, uh, but social unrest, tremors uh, will be felt every Everywhere. The Bible said because of increase of wickedness, the love of many will grow cold. And then he finally says in Matthew 24 and 13, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Saints, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. No matter what the heavens and the earths are doing, no matter whether America is upset with China and China upset with America no matter where the pandemic is and no matter what going to happen in the flu season God said brace yourself because I told you so my God he finally says no matter how violent and strong the tremors may be they will not signal the final end 
the gospel of the kingdom must be preached in the whole world as a testimony. Since the time of shaking is our time to stand firm and stand fast in the liberty where God have made us free. This is not the time to be entangled with the yoke of bondage because Jesus painted a mental picture that all of these tremors on earth will be significant and at times violent even causing a great falling away in the Christendom. But as devastating as these things might be at times as toxic as our politicians are, Jesus reminds his disciples that they are the beginnings of labor pains, but none of these things are the big one. The end is yet not yet. The big one will be triggered by the gospel being preached to all nations for a witness. And only God knows when that time will be. This present pandemic, as big as it is, is only a small tremor to alert the world that it's time to be saved. Not getting saved, because there may not be any time left to get saved. Many of these tremors in the world uh, will cause people to believe uh, that the end of the world uh, has finally arrived. Uh, this was the case uh, with World War I. Uh, it was the case uh, with World War II. Uh, but as believers, we ought to understand all these shakings uh, from a biblical perspective. Uh, these are signs uh, that the end is near, uh, but the end is not here uh, because the time is being gazed by God himself and not the natural solar system. My God, the big quake can occur in the next five minutes or it can occur in the next 500 years. So Jesus says in Matthew 25 and 13, watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming. All these tremors must be seen in view of the mercies of God. God never sends the big one in your life without sending the small warnings along the way. He's not slack concerning his promise. He's shaking up things, reminding you it's time to be repaired. Saints, so on last Sunday, I was not prepared for the shaking that I felt under my feet, but I am prepared for the shaking that will occur on the great getting up morning. I don't want to be here for the big shake up that will shake everything down. Neither do I want to be here for the aftershocks where there will be nothing left to go back to. Before the big one goes down, God promised that the prepared will go up. First Thessalonians 4 beginning at 15. For this we say by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heavens with the shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is not to discourage you. Paul said, comfort one another with these words. So after feeling my my first earthquake ever under my feet. I thought about what it would take to be prepared. 
God, uh, since this one caught me by surprise. Uh, and what I discovered uh, was that what it takes uh, to be prepared uh, for an earthquake uh, offered me clues uh, for what it takes uh, to be prepared uh, for the cosmic quake. Uh, not when it happens, uh, but before it happens, uh, because it will happen. Uh, Numbers 23 and 19, uh, God is not a man uh, that he should lie, uh, neither the son of man uh, that he should repent. Uh, have he not said it, uh, and shall he not do it? Uh, or have he spoken, uh, and shall not make it good? Uh, say, yes, God is good. Uh, and whatever he says, uh, he's going to make it good. Uh, so I want to tell you here uh, about the steps uh, of being prepared uh, before the cosmic quake uh, start moving everything. Uh, the first step uh, to major earthquake readiness uh, is to purchase earthquake insurance. Uh, the 5.1 quake in Sparta uh, that we felt in Charlotte uh, caused major damage in Sparta, uh, but damage that was not covered uh, under the home insurance policies. Since earthquakes are so rare in the area, listen, saints, this cosmic quake is going to be rare, but don't take it for granted. You need earthquake insurance. The first step to cosmic quake readiness is to purchase cosmic insurance. This will be a rare one-time event. So many policies will be too costly to purchase. You know, like boot Buddhism and Hinduism no, who, who talk about going away and coming back again. You can't trust that because God never told us that. You know how some says pregatory that you go to a holding place and then your loved ones who are still alive can pray you out of that place. Don't trust that insurance. You won't find it in the word of God. Oh, I know it's in those books that didn't make it in the Canada, but the Holy Spirit knows what we need. And since this is a rare occurrence, you need to purchase cosmic insurance where the policy is written out from Genesis to Revelation of what you can expect. Now this policy is very expensive, but the good news is that cosmic quake insurance has already been purchased and paid in full. All you have to do is sign up and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up surface and they will drink any deadly thing. It shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You ought to lay your hands on yourself for a moment. Lord, I praise you. Jesus purchased this policy of power for us with his own shed blood. Thank God for Jesus in whom you also trusted. Also, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of the down payment payment uh, to our inheritance uh, until the redemption of the purchased possession uh, unto the praise of God. Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. In other words, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, inside of you uh, is the sure uh, guarantee uh, that you got the power to get up uh, and get out of here uh, before the big one comes. Uh, the Holy Spirit inside of us uh, is our cosmic quake insurance uh, and it is free uh, and a final farewell greeting uh, to the apostle Paul instructed the church at Ephesus uh, take heed yourselves uh, 
and to all the flock over whom the Lord have made you, which he purchased with his own blood. This cosmic quake insurance is free for all who believe in Jesus, for he purchased it with his own blood. You do not get any better than free, but free does not mean cheap. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from the vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers. We got a lot of traditional folk saying, well, my mama was this and my daddy is this and I'm going to be that. But yet they are complaining about the toxic diseases that run in their families. But I'm here to remind you, saints, what I've told you before. Victory runs in my family. And I refuse to be a victim of the cosmic quake that's coming. Jesus purchased this insurance with his precious blood. So if you want to be ready for the big one, do not cheapen God's grace. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbids it that in these ages to come, that he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Jesus Christ by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of God oh yes saints we got cosmic quake insurance oh yes long before there was Obamacare and a president who doesn't care God made holy care available for all who put their trust in the finished works of Jesus at the cross of Calvary the songwriter looked back and declared there is a fountain that's filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein the sinners plunge beneath the flood lose all their guilty stains I'm here to remind you that the Holy Spirit inside of us is cosmic quake insurance and it covers you no matter what gets damaged in your life dead or alive if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Saints, since Jesus condemned sin in the flesh, when you have cosmic quake insurance, losing your flesh to the grave cannot harm your soul. The cosmic quake insurance has power and remains active as the policy holder walks not after the flesh but after the spirit. So then we are in the flesh cannot please God but you who are spirit filled are not in the flesh but you are in the spirit. He goes on to say, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So I'm encouraging today, check your policy. Make sure that it includes the Holy Ghost inside of you. You get eternal coverage. So when the cosmic starts shaking down, you are already all right. Lose your earthly house. You still got another building. Absent from the body, you're still present with God. You ought to tell somebody, I got cosmic quake insurance. Some earthquakes are not as common in the Carolinas as they are in California. So Californians are in tune to being prepared for a big one to occur. The buildings are built to we withstand a tremor. What's true about California is true about Christians. It's not if the big one is coming, but when will it come?
come. The big one is inevitable. So Hebrews 12 said, who then shook the earth? But now he has promised saying, once more I shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The big one is going to be more than an earthquake. It will be a cosmic quake. Make sure you got cosmic insurance. Lord, I praise you. Make sure you got cosmic quake insurance. The Holy Ghost inside of you. Speaking in other tongues. At the spirit of God gave utterance. I know folk have changed the policy somewhat. To say, say the sinner's prayer. Others have changed it. To say, get baptized any way you want to. The others have changed the policy. And adjust it to baptizing babies. And sprinkling water on you. But as many as are baptized into Christ. Baptizo dip plunge beneath a liquid in water. Jesus didn't stumble when he said. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. I'm not coming against your policy. That your denomination have made. I'm just telling you. What the master policy says. I know you got various ways huh, of how to know folk is saved. Huh? But the master policy says huh, they knew they were spirit filled huh, because they spoke with other tongues huh, as the spirit of God give utterance. Huh? Yes, the devil's got a tongue huh, because he knows how to mimic God, huh, but he can't mimic living right. Huh? My God. Huh? So you need the initial evidence huh, followed by the continual evidence huh? and the fruit of the spirit is is love. So the Holy Ghost don't feel you to make you mean as the devil. When you got the Holy Ghost inside of you, your life proves it. Your life validates it. And you don't shake up and fall down just because there's a pandemic or just because somebody got sick in a pandemic. Jesus is Lord. My God, the earthquake, cosmic quake insurance. Number two, According to the experts, the safest place to be during a major earthquake is wherever you happen to be when the shaking starts. This testifies to the power of preparedness. Being prepared for anything puts you in the driver's seat to have more control over the outcome. This is why in a major car accident. Uh, drivers often survive uh, when their passengers do not uh, because in the driver's seat uh, he's seen the collision coming. Uh, even if he had a split second uh, to he was able uh, uh, to brace himself. Uh, Lord, I praise you. But the Bible says even the precursor to the big one is going to be in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. You won't have time to call Jesus. You won't have time to be baptized. You won't have time to find a witness to tell you about Jesus. And now you blink your eye. And that's how it's going to be. So the prepared knows that they are as safe as they can possibly be uh, doing an earthquake no matter when uh, or where it occurs. Uh, they're not walking around uh, worrying about when it's going to happen. Uh, they know it's going to happen, uh, so they stay prepared. Uh, it's amazing to me uh, that the cosmic quake preparedness, uh, you got to do the same thing. Uh, Apostle John says uh, he's a cosmic quake guru. Uh, he receives similar instruction from Jesus. Uh, Revelation 20 22, 11 and 12. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. I know some folks say you don't need the Holy Ghost to be saved. But the one who purchased our cosmic insurance, 
because uh, he said when you're holy uh, be holy still uh, because behold uh, I come quickly uh, and my reward is with me uh, to pay every man uh, according as his work shall be uh, oh saints uh, now is the time uh, to be prepared uh, stay prepared uh, because when the cosmic tremors uh, begin to occur uh, the best place you can be uh, is where you already are uh, in other words when the shaking starts uh, it's too late to get prepared uh, because that's the time uh, to be prepared uh, when the big one starts uh, it's too late to get ready uh, that's the time to be ready uh, when the cosmic quake starts uh, it will get the attention uh, of those on earth uh, but it will burn up too quick uh, for them to get ready uh, if you are well prepared uh, you know that you are in uh, the safest place that you can be uh, my God uh, when you in Jesus uh, he said when you're in my hand uh, nothing can pluck you out uh, he that dwell of uh, in the secret place uh, of the most high shall abide under the shadows of, of the almighty I'll say oh my God uh, he is my fortress my God my refuge in whom uh, will I put my trust uh, so I'm here to let you know uh, if you're well prepared uh, you know you're in the safest place uh, that you can be it's amazing to me earthquake analysts the final thing earthquake analysts suggest a three step approach for what to do when the shaking starts they said drop take cover and hold on the three steps given by the experts for what to expect when an earthquake stars is a good guide to remain unmovable in your unmovable, unshakable kingdom, doing all of the tremors that are coming upon this earth. It's a good way to rehearse and prepare for the big one. Drop, take cover, and hold on. The first thing is drop up to your hands and knees, uh, getting down to present, uh, getting down to prevent uh, being knocked down, uh, help you crawl to a safety place. Uh, I heard the Bible says, uh, humble yourselves uh, under the mighty hand of God. Uh, he will exalt you in due time. Uh, he give grace to the humble. Uh, my God, but he resisted the proud. Uh, in other words, you drop down now. So God don't knock you down later because uh, my God, uh, pride uh, goes before destruction uh, and a haughty spirit uh, before fall. Uh, those who are lifting themselves up in pride uh, against God now uh, going to fall down to their knees. Uh, but it might be too late because every knee shall bow uh, and every tongue shall confess uh, that Jesus is Lord. Uh, it's time to drop down uh, before we're getting knocked down. Uh, Lord, I praise you. Uh, if you want to be prepared, uh, drop down now. Uh, God said, humble yourself uh, in repentance before me. Uh, don't stand up boastful uh, and proud against God uh, in your sin. Uh, it's time to drop down uh, before God. Uh, and the second thing they said, uh, next thing, cover yourself. Uh, with a sturdy object. Uh, the best thing uh, that's something that's not moving, uh, like a strong table uh, or a strong desk. Uh, do not wait uh, for the shaking to cover things. Uh, do it right now. Uh, Proverbs 18 and 10 said, For the name of the Lord uh, is a strong tower. Uh, the righteous run in and are saved. Uh, it's time to take cover in the name of Jesus. Uh, neither is there salvation 
shun in other name, for there is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. It's time to take cover, saints. Don't wait for another incident to come to shake up you or wake you up and take cover. My God, the blood will be a sign for you on the house where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Take cover, saints, under the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins, God is faithful to forgive us. And my God, and deliver us from all unrighteousness. The final expert advice, after you, my God, drop down and take cover, is to hold on. Hold on in an earthquake. Lord, I praise you. What you do in an earthquake is good news for preparing for the cosmic quake. If they said, hold on to your shelter if you have one. Uh, and the trembler uh, will likely involve uh, some great shaking. Uh, the cosmic shake is coming. Uh, brace yourself right now. Uh, grab hold to Jesus uh, and hold on. Uh, if you're already holding on, uh, grab him even tighter. Uh, hold on even tighter. Uh, hold on, saints. Uh, prove all things. Uh, hold fast uh, that which is good. Uh, hold fast uh, the form of sound doctrine uh, which thou hast heard. Let us hold fast uh, the profession of our faith uh, without wavering, uh, for he is faithful uh, that promise. Uh, hold on, uh, because behold, uh, I come quickly. Uh, hold that fast uh, which you have, uh, what I felt uh, on last Sunday, uh, according to the seismic graph, uh, was a 5.1, but according to the geological survey, the most powerful quake uh, on record was a 9.5 uh, magnitude earthquake uh, that struck in Chile uh, in 1960. Uh, what well, I felt the impact uh, of a 5.1 uh, from just over 100 miles away. Uh, can you imagine uh, a 9.5 uh, and get your mind around this? Uh, can you imagine uh, one that you can't even measure uh, that's able to bring down the cosmos? Uh, along with fire. Uh, now it's amazing saints. Uh, the geologists are clear uh, that the earth is already on fire. Uh, beneath our feet uh, there's coal that's burning uh, along the layers uh, under our feet. Uh, they also say uh, that when the earth begin to slide uh, and the place slip past each other uh, they cause a rumbling we call an earthquake. Uh, but they're also contributors uh, to volcanic Mama, uh, uh, that we call lava. Uh, the earth is on fire, saints, already. Uh, so it should not be a surprise uh, that God will not only uh, bring fire from the sky, uh, He's going to bring fire uh, up from the ground uh, like He did uh, in the time of Noah uh, with water. Uh, not only did the sky open up uh, and rain down water, uh, the Bible says uh, that the springs of the earth, uh, God God opened up the earth uh, and water gushed from beneath uh, and God's going to do it all over. Uh, but this time uh, it won't just be the earth saints. Uh, it's going to be the cosmos. Uh, so I'm here to let you know uh, be a doer. Uh, drop down. Uh, take cover under the blood. Uh, hold on to Jesus. Uh, it's time saints uh, that we drop to our knees uh, and tell them Lord we sorry. We know we've done wrong. We don't need to find excuses or blame the devil for our shortcomings. The earth is groaning for us to be fully redeemed. And God told us through his servant Peter to get excited. Start looking for the time. Prepare everybody. You've already had several tremors. They're just reminders 
uh, that the big one is on the way. Uh, I encourage you uh, to tell somebody uh, to drop down, uh, take cover, uh, and hold on. Uh, I'm about through now. Uh, I remember uh, when I was in school, uh, we used to have uh, what was called fire drills. Uh, we had fire drills uh, not to get our attention. Uh, we had fire drills uh, to make sure uh, that we knew what to do uh, in the case uh, of a real fire. Uh, so God is not merely uh, trying to get our attention uh, in the case of a real fire. Uh, he wants us to know uh, what to do uh, in the case uh, of a real fire. Uh, Lord, I praise you. Uh, I tell somebody uh, this is a fire drill. Uh, yeah, that's shaking you felt. Uh, that's shaking in Washington. Uh, that's shaking in China. Uh, shaking in the hospitals. Uh, shaking in your community. Uh, that's shaking in the police force. Uh, that's shaking of injustice. Uh, that is a fire drill. Uh, I need somebody uh, to give somebody uh, a high 10 and tell them what you're feeling uh, is a fire drill. Uh, but it's not the real one. Uh, if you don't have nobody uh, in your house, uh, but a cat and a dog, just take their paws and give them a high four uh, and tell them it's only a fire drill. Uh, Lord, I praise you. Uh, tell Pookie and Bobo, whoever you got in your house or whatever you're calling them, uh, tell them it's a fire drill. Uh, but the big one is on the way. Uh, I thank God uh, that I got my cosmic quake insurance. Uh, I got my salvation kit. Uh, I'm put on the armor of God. Uh, I got my sword of the spirit. Uh, I'm being who I am, uh, more than a conqueror. Uh, I need somebody to listen to me uh, to tell somebody uh, I got my cosmic quake kit uh, called the Holy Ghost, uh, the armor of God, uh, the word of the Lord. Uh, and I'm just waiting uh, as I tell somebody uh, I'm waiting uh, for the great day of the Lord. Uh, he that promised uh, that he will come, uh, he will come uh, and he will not tarry. Uh, oh Lord, I praise you. Uh, you're on the way, Jesus. Uh, and I'm so glad uh, you were able to shake us up uh, and let us know uh, there is a real uh, cosmic quake uh, that's on the way. Thank God for Jesus. This is a fire drill. And in the case of a real fire, you'll already be prepared because God promises that there will be a tremor before the big one where the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Already put it in his record. There will be a tremor before the big one. The earth will shake once more. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. And those which are alive and remain are going to be caught up. That's going to be followed ultimately by the big one. It's going to be cosmic in proportion. There won't be any time to go back to life as usual. Because it will be like the time of Noah. Everything is going to dissolve. And we have so many, we have so much evidence that this is possible. Whenever America dropped the two atomic bombs on the cities in Japan, when they hit the ground, the fire, the heat was so hot, everything for miles dissolved. Now, <laughs> that was an atomic bomb. Saints, we're talking about something that's infinitely greater than a human's atomic bomb. We're not talking about EMC squared. We're talking about something that cannot be measured. Something that will bring down every star in the cosmos. And why is God doing this? He's renovating. He's wiping it all out to give us a new heaven and a new earth where the new Jerusalem, which is all of those who put their trust in Jesus Christ, when the bride of Christ will come down from the sky and be planted on the new earth. Everything is going to be different. 
And Jesus said to his servants, Hebrews and Peter and other places, get excited. We're to look for the blessed hope. Communion is until he comes. Listen, saints, don't get stuck <laughs> because you're in the best place that you can be is the advice for earthquake preparation. You're in the best place that you can be is the same advice for cosmic quake preparation in Jesus Christ. Stay in him. Stay in him. And for the purpose of rehearsing and getting ready for that time, keep dropping, keep taking cover, and hold on to Jesus. If you're out there today, you're not sure whether the policy that you have is going to keep you and help you escape the cosmic quake. You should consider when they asked Peter on the day of Pentecost, men and brother, what shall we do? Peter gave a step to salvation. Call it the artist of solution. He says, repent, be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you, your children, and to them that are for off as many of the Lord our God shall call. And let's I understand, saints, there are multiple cosmic insurance policies that are out there. The only one that I have to offer is the one that's laid out in the word of God. That's the declaration page. <clears throat> the declaration page of this insurance is the book of Acts. That's the only one that I have. So I don't really debate and argue with anybody about what their salvation plan might be. The only one that I have is the one that's laid out in the word of God that we're going to be responsible for when we meet our God. And now is the time to prepare to meet your God. Listen, saints, if you have further questions about just how to be saved, about the living church or what you need to do, look us up. Drop us a note at www.tlcooljc.org. Praise God. Making preparations for the big one so that you can be ready when the tremor starts because there will be no time to get ready. God bless you. We love you. We join you in Sunday school. Peace.